Hello everyone. Since exams are just around the corner, here are some 10 important tips to help you write your maths exam well. So, let's start. The first tip is to use your reading time wisely. So, once you get the question paper, 10 to 15 minutes are usually given as the reading time. Now, you can use this time to read each question thoroughly and decide which options you will choose in case of choice questions, which section you will attempt first and approximately how much time you can give to each section. So friends, if you do all this planning during the reading time, then you need to only focus on solving the questions during the writing time. The second tip is to use rough work columns. So once you get the answer paper, the first thing to do before you even start answering is to draw rough work margins on the right side of each page. So instead of doing calculations all over the pages, you will automatically do all those calculations in these margins. So this makes your answer sheet very neat and organized. You will make lesser mistakes and also the examiner can easily check how you have arrived at the answers. The next tip is not skipping any questions. Often we are in a hurry to write and complete the paper and there is a high chance that we just miss answering one or two questions which can cost you valuable marks. Now since many schools don't allow students to put tick marks or write anything in the question paper, friends here is an idea that you can try out. Simply place your answer sheet or maybe even your pencil box just below the question you are currently answering like this. Now once you are done with that question, then only shift your box or the paper down so that you can see the next question. So this will surely prevent you from missing out on any question. So do try this out and let me know if this works for you. The next tip is to copy the data correctly. So while copying data or the values from the question, always double check the numbers, the units, the decimal points because if you have copied the data incorrectly, however well you solve the question, the answer will be incorrect and you will lose all the marks. So although it will take 4-5 to five seconds more, double checking the values is definitely worth it. The fifth tip is to not be stuck in any question for too long. Now some questions can be really tricky and we may get stuck without any solution in sight. So in such situations you just have to decide to leave adequate space for the answer and move on and start solving the next question. Once you complete the paper you can always come back to that question and try it again with a fresh perspective. The next step is to mention the formulae or the theorems used. Now we may think of it as a waste of time but it's extremely important to write in each answer very clearly the reasoning, the formulae or the rules, the theorems used. So this way the examiner knows that you have understood and applied that concept or that formula very well. So friends ensure that you write the reasons and the theorems wherever needed. The next tip is on writing the final answer. So always enclose the final answer or the proof in a box or underline it very clearly. This way the examiner doesn't have to search for the answer, it can be easily spotted. And although it's not compulsory, friends if you get the time do draw neat lines between each of the answers. This really improves the presentation of the paper. The eighth tip is to mention the correct units. So friends, always write the correct units for the answers wherever it is required. For example, distance, area, volume, money, all of them need units. Otherwise, marks are cut even if your answer is perfect. The next tip is checking the answer paper well. So always plan in such a way that you give at least 15 minutes for checking and during this time don't just browse through the answer friends but check each line and all the calculations for any mistake or errors and if you do proper checking you will surely thank yourself later when you get the marks. And last but not the least, it's very important to be fresh and alert during the maths exam and this can be achieved by getting adequate sleep the night before. So friends, don't sacrifice your sleep hours. Also keep your stationery ready the night before, pens, refills, geometry set etc. so that you are all geared up for getting super marks in your maths paper. So here's wishing each and every one of you all the very best for all your exams. 
If you found this video useful, do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.